Hi, this is Rupert from RJ Blackwalls. Today we're going to uh, look at the Merkel Helix Speedster. Um, this, this rifle has been out for a little while, but it's quite an unusual rifle uh, compared to a lot of um, other uh, thumb hole style rifles in, in the sense of this is an open uh, thumb hole. Um, the, the main reason why this was designed was purely so you could access the bolt really quickly and, and get to the bolt to recycle the rifle very quickly. I think it's a, it's a, it's a very ingenious design um, and you know, for those people that, who, who get little, put off a little bit by the thumb hole design uh, because they can't get the hand out the bolt quickly enough or they feel they can't, this is a, an amazing halfway house. You've got a, a very full pistol grip, so um, you've got the same support as a thumb hole, you've got, um, you've got the wrap around so your hand can wrap around the back of the stock like a thumb hole. But you've got also that ability to remove your hand. The stock in itself is quite an unusual design. It's not an unusual design, but it's quite, it's, it's quite an ingenious design. Um, you've got a, a, um, an adjustable comb, um, but it's also, this adjustable comb can preset the memory um, uh, of what you, you had previously. And we'll go into a little bit more depth in a second. So it can travel up and down about um, 25 mil. Um, so you've got plenty of height there uh, to, to get your head position in the correct place. But the other thing is it's also quite a decent size and, and so you, you don't feel like your face is going to fall off the front or the back of it. So it's got, a, it's got plenty of support. The other, the other, the other thing is, is, is this is a right-handed stock, but obviously it's designed in such a way so it could be amp amply dexterous. The, the pad, to get to the adjustable comb, um, all you need to do is, is there's two little pinching points here. And what you do is we'll just cheekily spin this around, give it a squeeze, pull it away. And inside here, they have got a little Allen key. And that little Allen key is the tool to preset your adjustable comb. Now, it's quite simply done. In the back here, there's like a little collet. And in that, there is a, an Allen key um, slot. And what you do is you basically adjust, un undo the, the, the little bar and then you set the height that you wanted to and then you just tighten it off. So I'll just put that back on. This rifle, I mean, this rifle's got a, a few other um, uh, designs, uh, which, which I think, a few other features I think are great, great. Um, and, and that is, you've got various barrel profiles. The first, you get a 17 mil standard, and this is the fluted 19 mil barrel profile. This is a 56 centimetre, approximately 22 inches. But they do do it in three different sizes. You can get a 51 centimetre, uh, 21 inches, and you get a Magnum um, uh, 24 inch barrel. No, but that's only on the Magnum calibers, of which there's three. Um, there's a seven mil Rem Mag, a 300 Win Mag, and a 338. But they do, they do offer in a load of other calibers. Um, this particular one is actually in 223. Uh, but they do it in triple two, 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 three, two, four, three, two, seventy, seven, sixty four, thirty, oh, six, three, oh, eight, eight, fifty seven, and nine, three, sixty two. So you've got a, quite a wide range of calibers, all sort of classic calibers. You can get ammunition anywhere all over the world with. Um, and they, on, I mean, this particular one is threaded, it's got a little M15 by one thread here. Um, I'm just going to unscrew it. Every, this, the one thing with Merkel is they don't, they do, the engineering of everything is immaculate and we've had this rifle apart and inside all the machine is so crisp and, and clean and I think it, I've, you know, you, you do pay for that and it, you know, obviously it, it is a little bit more money than maybe something else but the machining quality is excellent. The barrels on these are hammer forged so you've got, you know, you'll get a good barrel life out of them especially in the sort of slightly, you know, not so hot calibers, but, you know, compared to, a, you know, sort of a barrel that come off a Remington, you'll get, you get a, probably another 1,500, 2,000 shots out of this easily if you look after it. Um, the safety. Safety is really important. Um, this is a uh, decocking safety. So when the bolt's forward, push, this, push the button at the top and it just releases. And it's also just a nice design, you know, um, some of the, the decocking safeties, and I have noticed that on, you know, I've got a Blaser, a Blaser is one of the rifles I use, and I have to say, this, the, depending on the size of your hand, the throw of the safe is quite long, and sometimes you end up having to do is dismantle your hand 
further off the grip than you might want to, to push the safety forward, depending on the size of your hand. But because this is a slightly more uphill safety, you don't, you don't need to do that. You can still sort of get, keep your hand pretty much fully on the grip um, to, to, to take it off and on. Um, I think, that's, and it's also incredibly smooth. It's, it is a really smooth safety. The trigger pull, the trigger pull is, um, it is adjustable actually. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second, but it, you, you've got uh, an adjustment from uh, 1.9 pounds to four pounds. It's about 900 grams to 1900 grams. Um, and they do do actually an aftermarket trigger unit which you can pay for, it's like a target trigger, trigger unit, which goes down to like 500 grams, which is incredibly light. But this is, this is just a standard one. Trigger, the trigger is nice, it, it's not a plastic trigger, it is a metal trigger, which is quite nice. Um, and, but to, to get to that, what you have to do, there's a little catch underneath here, and you, you flip this up, this, the cap comes off, and there's actually a little pocket in here to, to put like a boar snake or, um, you know, I don't know, some spare bits and pieces and batteries maybe for your scope. Um, but underneath there's an Allen key, and all you do is you rotate that a quarter turn, and then you just pull back and the stock completely comes off. Um, and then just behind here, there's a little stud, and that's for, for the adjustment for your um, your, trig your trigger. And you can, you can use the Allen key that's sitting in the pad at the back, and that can do all your adjustment. Now, this rifle is a takedown rifle, and um, you, you can do that quite simply. So, so just rotate this little screw here, and pull the floor end off and basically there's a little button here and all you do is you just rotate it round and then when you come to pulling the floor end off you just press it in and push up and it should hopefully come up they can be a little bit stiff when they're new so the barrel um, this is a 223 barrel so I'm just going to pull the bolt back and I'll show you there's two ways of taking the barrel out you can take the barrel out with the bolt and you can take the barrel out just on its own um, obviously if you're changing, say, from a, I don't know, a 243 to a 300 Win Mag, you need to do a bolt change. But we'll show you that bit in a second. So to take the barrel out, all you do, you've got a big lever here, you pull it down, and pull the barrel up. And it's, as you can see, it's quite smooth, it's really crisp, and it comes out really simply. Um, in here, that also, you know, if you're doing barrel maintenance, you know, you want to just clean your barrel over. Uh, and clean the, the action out, you know, it gives you a chance to get in there. You know, there's no magazine in this particular rifle at the moment, but you can get in there and give it a clean. Um, if you want to do like a further clean and you, you're feeling up to it, you can actually take the, the, uh, the whole trigger unit out. Um, it's something, something to be honest, I wouldn't advise everybody to do it unless you've got the right tools. I think you can, you can end up marking or possibly damaging the, the side of your action, but there's basically a wire here or a pin, as some people describe, and there's another one just at the back here. You tap it out, and then you pull your trigger unit out. But there is a bit of a technique to put all that back in. So what we'll do, to put this barrel back in, so, so you can see there's a little red tab just at the end there. And with that red tab, you have to align it to the top of the action. So we just pop that in there. And actually, it's not quite aligned. You can see just here, it's not sitting quite right. And now it's just dropped down. Now, pull the bolt forward. And then what we do is do three pumps. That's what the manufacturers recommend. And I think that's all it is, is just to make sure this is pulled back in as crisply and as tightly as it can be. Now, what I've done now is I've pushed the bolt forward, but we want to take the, the bolt face off. So all we do now is we leave the bolt in the forward position, previously left it in the, in, in the open, pull the lever down, and the bolt pops out. Now what they, they've done here, I don't know if you can see, um, there's two red dots, so you, you can just take it out like that. You can pick up your 300 Win Mag or you know, 3006, this is a triple, uh, triple two small bolt face for a 223. Put this back in. And then you rotate the, uh, you know, the larger bolt face if you want it. Put it back in. You just align the two red, the two dots, and then all we do is we just seat this back in. And 
and then we pull this three times and then it all works correctly. The other nifty thing with the system, you know, a Merkel, this is one of the, probably the crucial factors is the speed of the bolt. It, it's got a, it's got, it's got a very, very, um, it's got quite a short throw um, in the sense of the length of the pull to, to, to in, in regarding the relationship of the size of your cartridge. So, you know, if you've got like a 300 wind mag, it's a very, it's a very short throw here. Um, so you can recycle the bolt very, very quickly. And I'll just put this back on and we'll talk about that fractionally more. So I'm just doing this with my finger, just rotating this round finger type for the moment. But you can use like a little penny piece or something like that in there and that will, um, you know, just, just to nip it up a little bit tighter. But for the moment, it's, it's fine. So as you can see, when you mount the rifle, it's a very, very, very quick, quick pull. The other key factor is with this is I think it's a it's I like I like this design I think it's it's great it's sort of it's 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 simple again and you don't have to spend a fortune on mounts a bit like you know as Seiko you know I think probably copied this from from Merkel it's almost it's a very similar style in the way they even machined it uh, but this this is um, a, a worn rail mount and and the, and again you just buy some worn rings they're sort of you know QD rings hundreds of you know, 130 pounds, something like that. Some nice QD rings, not a huge amount of money. And you've got, you, you've got a great QD system. You've got no bases, no separate bases. It's all to the top of the action. And again, I think it's a, it's a really simple and, and, and solid sound system where, you know, other manufacturers have got some great, great designs regarding QD mounts, especially uh, Blazer. I like the Blazer ones. I think they're great. But again, you know, they're quite an expensive mount. They're the you know, haven't got much change out of 500 pounds for a set of those, um, but these are uh, not an expensive mount, and uh, it's, it's it's probably a nice little selling point against these to some of the other brands. You don't have to spend a fortune buy the rifle and then spend another fortune on a load of mounts. Um, the rifle, this particular rifle, it's not the cheapest rifle on the planet. It is about five uh, five grand. Um, I mean, there are you know other models of Merkel. Uh, that are less and some of them are you know starting around about three three and a half thousand um, but they do a, a wide range of products as well within the helix so wooden stock models um, and and they do a, a, a ladies model rifle um, which is which is designed um, to, to, to fit with a slightly you know it's got a slightly shallower grip especially for lady shooters and and also the toe dimensions here um, are designed in such a way that they um, fit they just fit there's not so much pronounced toe to, to fit a lady shooter better also the length of pull this length of pull actually i don't think i've mentioned that earlier on the length of pull on this is about 14 and a half inches so it's actually quite a decent length of pull i feel this is a it's it's a sound rifle it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea um i think some people probably find it a little bit you know a, a little bit too 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 far forward thinking regarding you know, it's a bit futuristic styling maybe, but it's not that traditional compared to a normal turn bolt, but it's a lot of fun at the same time. And I think if you're looking for something a bit different um, and you can quite happily use this as a, um, a stalking rifle, this is just a little flush fitting, sort of three plus one detachable magazine. Uh, but again, you can go down to the larger magazines for, for you doing your driven. But again, I think it gives you a number of options uh, to use it as a stalking rifle if, if you want to. Um, the forend here, as one other point we didn't talk about, is the bipod. That you can fit a bipod here. Um, this one hasn't got a bipod stud, but again, it's quite simple. There is a pre-drilled hole at the end here, and you can you can um, you just we, we can we can fit a stud stud in there to put a Harris or something else like that, or even a Spartan, uh, if that's something you you quite like. On here, they have got a, a removable sling swivel. Uh, it's a it's a QD sling swivel. Um, you're probably familiar with the. You, it's a very, it's a very similar style to actually what's on the sour, but it's a bit smaller. It's a bit of a smaller stud. Um, really simple. Just press a little button there, and it just pops straight out. And and you can you can you can, you can take your slings off. And they say you've got the same for the nose cone. Um, material of the action. This is a. It's, 
it's this is a, an, an alley chassis, um, um, but everything else inside is steel. Uh, but you, just to knock some weight out of it, otherwise it'd be quite a heavy bit of kit. They've done that. This has got a 19 mil barrel, so you 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 do notice that um, you, that little losing that bit of weight there. And the time you get the scope sat on top of that, it sort of helps to balance the rifle out quite nicely. Concerning the um, the the adjustable comb, to to adjust it, it's really simple. All there is is a little button here at the back of the stock. So all we need to do is press it. You press the little button down and it goes up and it goes down and then you press it again and it just it pops back up. It's got like a little gas strut in there. Um, really, really, really simple little system. And it fit, it's, it's smooth, it doesn't make a load of noise. And, and again, once you adjust your collar in the back of the stock, um, you, you can, you can, it will just preset to the, to the height that you want. The, the actual adjustable comb itself, on the, on the top here, it's a soft touch um, pad. And it's also got soft tuck grip grips here around the stock and the forend, um, which you know just gives that bit of dexterous feeling. It makes it you know it gives you feel like you've got plenty of grip. It's quite a quite a grippy stock and forend to be honest. The finish actually on the stock is good quality to be honest. It, it's it is a solid grip. It doesn't feel too plasticky. I, mean, I showed off that um, uh, that S20 a little while ago, and there was loads of good features on that rifle, but the stock was quite plasticky. Where this does feel quite solid. It's not. It doesn't have that sort of that sort of plasticky feel about it. Um, the magazines um, that you can get a three plus one and a sort of you can get a sort of five plus one there varies a little bit at this point depending on the size of the calibers. Um, and you know there are talks of some larger magazines as well, um, but these are the main ones you can you can get at the moment. Um, so yeah, I mean you've got you've got a, you've got a good you've got a good range good range of magazines. I hope um, I hope you found this interesting, um, and um, if you have any queries, please do not hesitate to contact me at RJ Blackwells. Many thanks.